It's a Momo. Dinner's ready. Wait, huh? Put me in preschool. Think about it. Zan and Moonen, see you next week. All right. All preparations have been made. Ready. Perfectly. What the hell is ready? Who are you even calling? You were speaking very good English, too. More importantly, Mom, I'm worried about this country's future. W what are you talking about? This country's entering a major recession, and things aren't going to be pretty over the next few years. So I decided that I need to become someone that can be an asset anywhere in the world. I have to be able to survive anywhere in the world. I'm going to go on to the world and make a name for myself. That's a big dream, but I'm rooting for you. Don't do anything dangerous, though. I knew you'd cheer me on. And so I need a thousand dollars from you, Mom. What? A thousand dollars? Do you mean one thousand yen? No, I mean a thousand dollars. Why do you need that much money? What are you going to use it for? One thousand dollars is supposed to be like a hundred thirty thousand yen. You're still six. You don't need that kind of money. Yes, I do. I need it now. Huh? Mom, you're getting a call. Oh, it's from Yori's sister. Wait, were you calling her earlier? Hello? Hey, Himari. I heard about what you guys are gonna do. Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, don't play dumb on me. You're hosting a wedding, right? A wedding? That's right. I heard it from Samomo. You're gonna host a wedding and invite all of your relatives, right? Congratulations. You always said you wanted to host a wedding, right? Well, I did, but we're not planning on hosting a wedding anytime soon. Why the hell are you lying to me? Are you not going to invite me or something? Iori told me that you guys were hosting as well. Wait, Iori really said that? Yeah, he did. Are you sure about that? Yeah, why would I lie about this? The other day, Samomo and Iori came by my place to pick something up. That's when I told him that they should host a wedding soon, and they were both on board. They said they would start prepping. Wait, this is the first I've heard of this. But I'm looking forward to your wedding. Oh crap, she hung up. I'm back! Welcome back, Iori. Hey, your sister just called me and she told me that you were planning on hosting a wedding soon. Oh shoot, I was gonna make it a surprise, but so much for that, I guess. Wait, are you actually planning on hosting a wedding? Yeah, we couldn't host some when we got married because you were pregnant with Samomo, but now that she's older, now I think we can finally host one. How does that sound? Uh, I love it. I really want to host one too. I'm glad to hear that. I was thinking about where to host it and... Wait, are you sure we can afford that? Yeah, and you always said it was a dream to have your wedding there, right? Wait, so you remembered what I said? Thank you so much, Iori. You're the best. Stop flirting with each other. I need the thousand dollars now. Oh, shoot. I forgot about you. But what are you going to use it for? Well... What? That's awesome, Samomo. Did you look that up yourself? My name is Samori. I'm a stay-at-home mom. My husband and I couldn't host our wedding when we got married because I was pregnant with Samomo, and my husband was abroad for work. I had given up on having one already, but I didn't think I would actually be able to host one. This is a dream come true. But anyway, Samomo's plan is absolutely crazy. It's an interesting idea, sure, but... A few days later... Hey, Himari! Oh, hey, how's it going? You were right, we are having our wedding soon. I knew it! Did you guys decide the venue already? We actually did! Alright, then could you send me the RSVP letter soon? I have to get ready for the wedding too, you know. Well, I have some bad news for you. Wait, what is it? We're actually planning on hosting our wedding just by ourselves. We're not planning on inviting anyone. What? What are you talking about? That's ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. Wedding should be a place for you and your husband to thank the people in your life. How could you not invite anyone? You need to invite people. Well, at least invite me. Shoot. I forgot that Iori asked me to tell her sister that the wedding was cancelled. He said that she was going to make a big fuss about us not inviting anyone, and he was right. So, where are you hosting your wedding? You have to tell me ASAP. I have to clear my schedule and everything, you know? Oh, well, I actually forgot. You're lying. Stop lying to me. I'm your sister-in-law. There's no way you could ever forget your wedding venue. Now, come on. Tell me where you're hosting your wedding. Well, I actually forgot, you know? So you're gonna pretend like you forgot, huh? All right, listen up. It doesn't matter if you don't tell me. I'm gonna find out one way or another and come to your damn wedding. Going to other people's weddings is one of my favorite things to do in the world. I get to eat and drink for free. That's why I'm going to your wedding no matter what. 
Oh, this is such a drag. But as long as we don't tell her where we're going to have her wedding, it should be fine. She shouldn't be able to figure that out by herself. And one day, when I went to pick Samomo up from preschool, So, Samomo, where are your parents having their wedding at? Oh, well, that's... Oh, I see. Okay, so it must be there then. Thank you so much, Samomo. Here's your reward, Samomo. Thanks. W wait, why are you here? Why the hell are you at my daughter's preschool? Oh, hey, Himari. Perfect timing. Guess what? I just asked Samomo where you guys are having your wedding. I knew Samomo would tell me, so I came all the way here to talk to her. And just as I thought, she told me everything. I'm so glad I came all the way here. You really want to come to her wedding that badly? Of course I do. My life's purpose is to eat amazing food at people's weddings for free. Well, if she wants to come this badly, I guess I'll let her. I don't want her to come to her wedding unannounced and screw everything up, so... Okay, fine. You can come. Wait, really? Are you sure? Yes! I mean, you'd come even if I said no. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'll text you the details some other time, and I'll send you a link to the wedding venue just in case. Aw, I see what's going on. You want me to be there to cheer you guys on, don't you? You should have just said so from the beginning then. You're such a shy little girl, Himari. I'm not being shy or anything, but whatever. Let's just hope that everything goes well. Yeah, leave it up to me. I'll congratulate you guys, so make sure you get some good wine ready for me. I'm so excited. <sighs> so she's gonna come to her wedding, huh? Well, I guess we don't really have a choice. And a few months later, the day of her wedding finally arrived. So this is it, huh? I've never been here even though I live close by. I forgot to bring a wedding gift, but it should be fine. Today's a day for thanking people that are in their lives. But anyway, I'm really hungry. I'm gonna call Himari and tell her to serve lunch early. Hello, Himari? Oh, hey, how's it going? I was just about to call you myself. Oh, really? Well, I just wanted to ask if I could grab lunch before the ceremony. I'm really hungry, so could you do it quickly? I'm so hungry that I'm about to faint. But where are you guys, by the way? We're at Wakiki Beach. Wakiki Beach? What are you talking about? Are you already here? Here? You mean the chapel by my house? Yeah, I'm here already, but... Oh, so you're in Hawaii already, huh? Great! Hawaii? I'm in Japan right now. Wait, you're still in Japan? Then there's no way you're getting to the wedding on time. What the hell are you guys talking about? You're hosting your wedding in Japan, right? No, we're having it in Hawaii. I thought you heard where the wedding venue was from Samomo. I even sent you a link to the wedding venue through text. Wait, you're right. It says Hawaii right here. I didn't check this link until now. But hold on a minute. Samomo told me that the venue was this chapel near my house. That's why I didn't check your message. What the hell is going on? Did Samomo really say that? Let me ask her right now. Hey, Samomo. What is it? What did you tell your aunt when she asked you where a wedding venue was? The wedding will be at Red Chapel. Is what I told her. Why did you tell her in English? Is what I told her. I was trying to learn it before I came here. Uh, I see. But Samomo told her the right address. Why is she still in Japan then? Samomo said it was a red chapel, right? The one by house is painted red, so that's why I came here. R red? What are you talking about? Samomo was talking about red chapel that's in Hawaii. What? Are you kidding me? No, you can look it up on Google. It should show up. You're right. So you thought Samomo said that we're having our wedding in a red chapel? Yes, I did. What are you going to do about this? Nothing, really. I did send you the proper address. It's your fault for not checking it. No, this is all your fault. You should have told me about this. God, I was looking forward to it so much. Hey, can you postpone the wedding for me? I can't do that. I'm sorry, but you're just going to have to give up. No, I don't want to. I lost weight for this occasion. Also, I could eat as much as possible at your wedding. Well, I can't do anything about it. Hey, Mom, I have somewhere I want to go. Let's just forget about that idiot. We're in Hawaii. We have to enjoy our time here. Huh? Well, you're right. All right, I'm going to hang up. Uh, hey, wait. Damn it, she hung up. Of course I was going to think that they were hosting the wedding here. This isn't my fault. It's their fault for not explaining it properly. Damn it, I'm getting so annoyed at Himari and Samomo. Huh? Something smells really good. It's coming from inside the wedding venue. Oh my god, everything looks delicious. I can grab some, right? Yeah, it should be fine. I'm sure they won't notice. Mmm, this is delicious. Let me grab some more. An hour later, 
Man, that was amazing. Maybe I ate too much. Well, I just need to get out of here before anyone sees me. Let's get out of here. So, you're the one that ate my food, huh? Oh, shoot, they found me. Oh, come on, don't be so petty. I only had a little. You have to cut me some slack. I made every single dish that was here for my friend's wedding. He's the leader of a clan we're close with. Wait, what do you mean, clan? So you don't know? This chapel and this party venue is run by the Yuasa clan. And it's meant for Yakuza members only. Wait, you're kidding, right? No, we're not. So, uh, what are you gonna do to fix this? It took our boss days to cook all these dishes, you know? And everyone was looking forward to eating your boss's dishes. So how are you fixing this? I am so sorry, I really am. I didn't know. I didn't know this was supposed to be for a Yakuza wedding. It doesn't matter whose wedding it's for. You shouldn't eat other people's food without their permission. You're absolutely right. Yeah, I am, aren't I? So, what are we gonna do with her? We could shave off some meat from her and cook it. I'm sure it won't taste that different from pork or beef. You're right. She's fat, so her meat is basically like pork, isn't it? Please, anything but that. Please don't eat me. I'll do anything. I bet she didn't know this, but this chapel is red because we covered it with the blood of... Well, let me just say, you're about to be a part of that wall. You know what I'm trying to say, right? You're joking, right? Th that's why the chapel's red? This has to be some kind of mistake. Unfortunately for you, everything we said is true. No! Please don't kill me! <laughs> Maybe we were being too scary. Uh, for what she did, she deserves everything that's coming to her. <laughs> she really thought we were gonna cook her and eat her, didn't she? But her boss looks terrifying, so I don't blame her. And the chapel is just red because that's Mr. Inazuka's favorite color. What did you say about my face, you bastard? Did you call me scary looking? Or did a bug fly into my ear? Ow, oh, shoot! Maybe I shouldn't have said that! Inazuka, bring me a pot big enough to fit a person. I'll make you an amazing dish that tastes like roasted pork. Thank you, sir. I'd love that. And sir, I'd like to paint over the chapel with this bastard's blood. So, could you keep the blood in a bag? Sure thing. But wait! Please don't do this! I swear it don't taste good! Trust me, I taste like garbage! So please don't eat me! Afterwards, my sister-in-law thought that she was being hunted by the Yakuza and was too scared to go outside. Now she constantly mumbles that she doesn't want to be eaten. I wonder what happened to her while we were in Hawaii. By the way, after hosting her wedding, we decided to stay in Hawaii for a couple of weeks as part of her honeymoon. Oi, I'm gonna head to preschool! But I can't believe that Simomo signed up for a preschool here by herself. That's what her phone call was about, huh? Yeah, and the $1,000 was for her tuition, wasn't it? She's really something, isn't she? She really is our kid. Yeah, but I don't think she really needs to study English anymore. She's definitely better at English than me, that's for sure. <laughs> You're right, but I'm sure interacting with foreigners will help her learn a lot more about the world. All right, why don't we go on a date while Samomo's away at preschool, hmm? Yeah, let's enjoy your honeymoon while we're here. And so we were able to have a lot of fun in Hawaii. Hosting a wedding in Hawaii has always been my dream, so I couldn't be happier. And a few weeks later, hey, Simomo, we're here to pick you up. Today's your last day here. How was everything? It was good, but I can't be sad over this. I've got bigger plans. I've got to become an international woman. Don Simomo. <laughs> Don Simomo. <laughs> I'll definitely see you again. You guys. Why are they calling you Don Simomo? You made a lot of friends in the last two weeks, didn't you? Wait, are you supposed to be their leader or something? <sighs> Sun and moon and see you next week, guys! Sun and moon and see you next week! I don't really get what's going on, but I think Simomo got one step closer to becoming an adult. But I really am happy to be married to Yori and have Simomo as my daughter. I'm gonna make sure I cherish my time with them as much as possible.